Uh, this is part one of a two-part series showing you a store that we have under construction. We're responsible for the IT part of the project and uh, we do dozens of these every year. Um, what I want to show you first of all, uh, and this is a fairly simple project, uh, you can see we've already brought the phone lines into the store uh, from the electrical room. The store is in a strip mall and the phone lines have been punched down and then uh, we've already started pulling the CAT 5E cable uh, electricians have installed conduits and these uh, we're pulling some more cable now you see we we're all, we're I prefer superior Essex cable uh, we're bundling uh, these cables up here uh, so, pulling cable in a store, uh, you want to bundle up uh, the cables uh, and you want to stagger the ends. Don't stick them all together like a point, because then it will be too fat and it won't fit in the conduit. And then you just want to wrap the cables up with the electrical tape. You have to be very careful, because if, if your bundle breaks while you're pulling it in a conduit, might be like a hundred feet out and you have to start all over again which is not good so then you're going to uh, tie your pull string to your cable and you want to tape that up as well this pull string has already been run through the conduit and every time we pull another set of cables through the conduit we reuse the pull string so so we've run the pull string and we've pulled a set of cables and now we're we're tying back to the same string instead of cutting it and i i like to wrap my pull string down the end of the cable and then back up and this gives a it a little bit more rigidity because uh breaking uh if your pull string breaks or if it falls off, it can slip out uh, if the conduit's too tight. And then you pretty much have a cable 100 feet in the conduit that's just stuck. So you'll have to pull it out and start all over again. And so I'm feeding the cable. I'm just shoving it right in that conduit. And on the other side, someone else is pulling. And this makes a fishing, this makes running the cable through the conduit a lot easier than if somebody was just pulling by himself. And if we go check and see what he's up to, he'll be pretty mad now because I'm not pulling conduit. I mean, I'm not pulling cable. But, uh... See, a pile of used pulse string. So he's up there on the scissor left. Uh, because there's a um, there's a pull box up at the scissor left, and we're trying to get these cables from the back room to that pull box and then down the, into the cabinets. The cabinet people have already installed their cabinets, which they shouldn't have done. So getting the cables out means shoving your hand like like deep down in there and just pulling. You can't pull from from above because the the cable will get caught on the on the edge of the cabinet down there, and it'll cut the cable or kink it. Uh, that won't be good uh, technically. So we're pulling enough cable uh, so that we can have a nice service loop, and also so we can extend the cable to the uh, end of the counter. And now, so we're doing it again. And some of these cables are going to be coming out of the pull box and installed open air for the Wi Fi or the cameras. So I'm uh, making a bundle uh, that's going to be for the uh, Wi Fi. And here we have a uh, part of the network so cabinet dead. mounted. We're working on the service loop. 
Uh, I made a hole in the in the in the cabinet to feed the cables through, and we notice we've labeled every cable uh, with a label maker. Uh, we label cables on both ends uh, so that if any maintenance has to be done, we can easily figure out which cable is which. And this is the other part of the cabinet. And most cabinets have a removable back, so it's much easier to, to wall mount them. Uh, you can use these tabs to release the cabinet. And they're also hidden. So again, here we have another pull box. We're trying to get cables into the manager's office. And we've pulled them through the pull box, but the... Uh, the angle on it is extremely tight, so we can't just pull them down the wall. Uh, here we've gotten five cables in the, into the manager's office. Uh, one thing I like about Superior Essex is the cables have labels from the factory. So, so you can see right after the foot marking, or the meters marking, they, they've got each box has a unique label. So if you're pulling cables and don't know which cables is which, uh, you've got several boxes, it's pretty easy to identify them from their markings. See, it says IDFJ05, and it says the same thing on the other end. So it's pretty easy to identify. And so we've got our cabinet mounted. Uh, one thing we need to do is put these rubber gaskets in the holes. Uh, uh, to keep off sharp edges, which also protects the cable. And uh, we just hammer, or we just push these in place. And we put our, our cables through. Uh, I've cut these cables short so that they they're all the same length basically and they're just long enough that you can swing the cabinet open and the cables uh, stay in the cabinet and that's very important because if you cut your cables too short uh, and you open the cabinet you'll rip them right off the patch panel so you don't want to do that so that's it for part one we made a lot of garbage we'll make more garbage in part two